Hi friends. Yes, we're in the car, but we're in a bit of a backup, so we're not going anywhere. This little squirt just got out of school early, right? And you have a substitute teacher, which is your last first grade teacher, who's now the librarian, who's now a substitute teacher for third grade. <laughs> well, I'm not a substitute, just like. Just today. Yeah. So what are we doing today? Why'd you get out of school early? Getting my booster. We are doing the final round of boosters. Booster, 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 and we're all done. We had a little bit of a scare last week and the week before as COVID went through Kaylee's friends. Luckily, she never got it. I don't know how. It's like her and her dad, I have no idea how they and didn't me. get it. And you. Um, they didn't ever get it, but Kaylee's boyfriend had it and two of their friends, two or three of their friends had it. Um, but they, Kaylee didn't get it. So this is our last little uh, attempt to keep you safe now, right? Yeah. I didn't know how I Just a few it. weeks before the end of school. I also, I also have Abby here. She's got a PT appointment, and so she got out of school early as well and got lunch. And now I'm grabbing kids from all their different schools, and we'll go and do all these different stops along the way. I'm excited to get Ashley and Chelsea done. I could have gotten Chelsea done um, last month, actually, because she turned 12 in April. But then we were on our trip, and then we came home, and then... I just life happened and I never took her in to get her booster because she's 12 and up but when they approved the five and up here now lined up to do it and my friend is doing a clinic today very small clinic but it's funny when I got, went to get Ashley from school two of my friends were there and one of them was like oh you're coming to get Ashley for a booster I was like is everyone doing that today <laughs> and I said yeah everyone's trying to get in before school gets out before the rush of, of people going to get it done I think they want to get it done before Memorial Weekend starts. So that's what we're doing. And um, I forget that tomorrow is um, like, well, we're doing a Memorial Day game night tomorrow night with our friends and then two different parties on Monday for Memorial Day. So should we tell them the funny thing that happened with uh, the cow? Oh, yeah. I talked to her today when I went for my scan. <laughs> okay, I have a green light. I'll have to tell you, remind me to tell you ashley you'll have to remind me to tell you guys about gordo the cow i'll be back in an hour to get you and we have another squirt right there okay, right there yeah. a little uh, bubble burst back there chelsea do you know that we're going to get your booster yeah you told me. i told you yesterday <laughs> yeah um went and got her i called her school and i was like hey is it too late <laughs> to pick you know, to get Chelsea to go to parent pickup. And the lady was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta get off the phone. She's not gonna make it if I don't call her out right now. <laughs> so I had, they had to rush and get you that notice, right Chelsea? Well, they just called the teacher. The teacher, yeah. They had, they're like, we only have, right now, we gotta hurry. Oh, goodness sakes. I'm gonna, like, okay. I'm gonna tell you the story about Gordon, Gordon the cow. Huh? So, oh, what? Well, this will be a multi-part. Oh, hang on. My sister has a cat. Had a cow. Oh dear. Hang on. Maybe if you don't have a truck, you shouldn't pick up poles. My sister had a cow. She has a little farm, and she had a cow, and she was raising it for its beef. She named the cow Gordon. It's after a family friend. Lives next to my parents. It's a it's a whole thing. Okay. So, Gordon was um he was a beef cow we all know what happens to beef cows when they're fully raised okay so gordon had been taken care of and andy has my sister andy has her supply of gordon in her freezer okay so they are all having a barbecue this weekend for memorial day and they all were kind of divvying up food assignments for said barbecue and um, you know, potato chips or jello salad or hamburger buns, all the ingredients, all the things that you need to take for this barbecue, okay? And my sister, like a week ago, had said, I'll bring the hamburger meat. I'll, I'll bring that as my contribution. That'll be easy for me. She's going back and forth between two different states and getting ready to get married. And she's in nurse practitioner school, so she's kind of busy. She's like, I would really love to just bring the meat. <laughs> then, 
the other day, my other sister, this is all being communicated on our group text with the whole family. So even if we're not going to an activity, we're still on the message and we can kind of still see what people are kind of doing. So my other sister had said, hey, Andy, to my sister, why don't you save all of that meat for you and your family? You raise that cow for you and your family for the year to have that meat. Why don't you not do that? Why don't you just bring a big salad and um, we can all bring our own meat. Hot dogs, hamburgers, steak, whatever, whatever everyone wants, or chicken, you bring your own meat, right? That was what she said. I'm not going to the barbecue. I don't live there. I'm not going. But every once in a while, I feel inclined to put my two cents in, especially when it's funny. You're gonna, hang on. We just got here for the boosters. Hang on. You guys are gonna do your left arms, right? Yeah. Do your left arm so you still have your right arm, okay? I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs get yeah. out. Okay. Booster's done. Um, we actually ran into my sister-in-law. She was coming into town with her two kids to get their boosters. So we ended up killing our 15 minutes of wait time, chatting with them while they got signed in. And then we got a red box movie and some snacks. Yeah. And Ashley got her own individual pizza, but I think I'm gonna go get a Papa Murphy's for the other kids. I'm not sure how this cheese pizza is different than the other ones, but that's what she hey. chose. It's okay. She it's getting hot in here. Likes mother. Okay, but really quick, we have to go get Abby and get that pizza. Um, but I need to finish this. Here, I can go to the windows. Um, I'm gonna finish this little cow story for you, really quick. Okay, so we have the cow, we have the barbecue. Then my sister tells my other sister, don't bring your meat. That was kind of expensive for you. Don't wait, don't give it to the whole family, save it for your individual family. It's all great. So I went to reply, a little snarky reply, and I'm gonna put my little text message up on the screen. And I said, oh, it's bring your own meat. B-Y-O-C, bring your own cow. And then I put an emoji of a cow. <laughs> ha ha. Um, yeah, I didn't send that to my family. <laughs> I sent that to the lady who schedules our um, ultrasound scans, who is not from here. English is not her first language. And I get a reply back. What was her reply? I'll put it on the screen. Um, I it was. I tried translating it with Google. Yeah, she's like, um, <laughs> Google's not translating what I think it should translate as. And I was like, oh dear, no, don't, please don't Google it. Uh, it was hilarious because I was like, no, don't worry about it. I will explain it when I get there on Friday. <laughs> Google can't explain this. And even when I went in to try and explain it to her, um, so I just think that there's. Maybe she doesn't know what happens to cows. I don't know. I don't know why there was like Such kind of a disconnect with it. But then I had to tell my sisters what happened. And of course, my sister who owns said cow, Gordon, <laughs> she thought it was hilarious. But <laughs> she's like, I'm going to say it that way every time now. Bring your own cow when it comes to bringing your own meat. So good little uh, Gordo the cow. Gordo is a nickname for Gordo. the sun that we named the cow after. Anywho, we are off to get um, Papa Murphy's. In fact, I'm gonna sit here while we've got a nice little breeze and order the pizza and, and then we'll go get Abby. Well, I don't have to pick up Abby for 20 minutes, but I can get the pizza going in the meantime. Okay, Ash, it's been a couple hours. How is your arm doing? Where is it? Is it sore? Yeah. <laughs> You and Atten rode your scooter. Was that hard to do, or are you okay? It was easy, but some It's definitely it sore. Harsh. Can you lift your arm up now? <laughs> it hurts when I get it's a little sore. Yeah? You're doing okay? I think I'm just tired from today. Yeah. It's been a long week. Tell us what movie you're watching. Um, I'm watching The Meg. The Meg. It's just about scientists saving a bunch of people yeah. from a huge... Megalod Megalodon? Is that what it's called? No, Mom. The Meg. 
Welcome to my <laughs> such a snoot. All right. Well, I mean, it's a huge show. Okay, say goodnight to everyone. Good night.